Hello and all friends, you're tired to pay lots of money to correct your pictures? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it in DaVinci Resolve 17 and all of that for free. And also, I'll show you how to export it. Okay, here we are on DaVinci Resolve and we're going to correct our pictures. So I already imported four pictures and we're going to work on it. So first thing, if I see my pictures here, I double click on it. I can see that on the side there is a black bar. The reason is, my pictures are on 4 3rd and the resolution I want, I picked 16 by 9. So what I can do is select them all and here zoom. So it's gonna crop it a little bit on the top and bottom, but at least I'm gonna end up having a 16 by 9 resolution. You can select all of the other pictures and you can see that it corrected them all at once. Another thing that is important is that I'm gonna put my images to one frame. So I go on here, DaVinci Resolve, Preference, User, and here Standard Still Duration now is to 4 seconds. And I'm going to put it to one frame and save. This is going to be useful later when I want to export them. Now I select all and I bring them into the timeline. To correct the pictures, I'm going to go on color here. Okay, now I'm on color. I picked Parade because I like it better. I can see the red, green and blue, especially for pictures, it's really nice. And like this you can see where it stands and how you can get it better. So the way it works, if you're higher here, close to 1000, it's pure white. And if you're close to zero, it's pure black. Now we need one more thing, it's the nodes. Here, I click here and then I have a node. That's where I'm going to do my corrections. I could also put the clips on, but I don't really need it right now because it's just four pictures. So the nodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make more nodes. Even though the correction I'm going to do are non-destructive because I'm working on top of the picture and not on the picture itself, I still want to be able to go back to something if I need to. So to do that, I do Shift S. And now I can rename my nodes. So I right click node label and the first one is going to be white balance enter so here to make sure that i do the correction in the right place i have to click here and now you can see that i have a red rectangle around my node that means it's the active one so i can go here i can go here i pick my white balance i choose something that is white could be black as well or gray and I do it. So it brought the blue up a little bit and I can see here if it helped or not. In my case, I think I'm going to need to warm up the picture a little and maybe bring it a little bit more magenta. I can also do my color correction by changing the offset with the different colors because, for example, I see that I may have a little bit too much green, so I can just do offset and bring it down a little, not that much. Here we go. So the way those work here, offset is to change the whole range. So for example, if I do the red, I go up and it's bringing everything up. I go down, it's bringing everything down. And I double click to go back. If I go here, I bring everybody up or I bring everybody down, the same. So let's look at it. Yeah, the white balance is a little bit nicer. Next one, I'm going to normalize my image, meaning that I'm going to bring the black all the way down and the white all the way up. So to do that, I go with gain and I go up to bring my gain all the way to about 1000 to bring the white all the way up. And now I can bring down to have blacks black enough. Next one, I can do a little bit contrast. So for contrast, I can go here and bring the contrast up. It works. Another option is to go on the curves. So I go here, which is the dark. And I go here, which is highlights. And I do what we call an S curve, meaning there is more highlights and more dark to make the image pop up a little bit better. Next one, I can go on saturation, for example and bring it up a little 
and I can see here what we had before and after. So the picture is much nicer already. And now I'm going to try to make a vignette on the outside to darken the outside. And like this, the middle of the subject is going to pop out much better. So for this, I go here on window, pick a circle and then get it a little bit bigger, actually a lot bigger. Even more. Here we go. I'm going to soften it a little bit. And here you can see I'm picking the middle of the picture. That's not what I want. I want to pick the outside. So I'm going to invert it here. And I'm going to darken it a little bit. And a little bit more here. Here we go. So now we can see before and after. So we see we have the outside that is darker, so the subject pops out much better. Next one, Bumphead Parrot Fish. So I'm going to make more nodes. This one I don't need to rename them. So I'm going to start again with white balance. Here I pick a white place. Okay, it brought a little bit more blue. It's a little bit less green than it was before. Okay, not bad. Next one, normalize. So we have a problem with the red that is probably too low. So we need to bring it up a little. Okay, and now we can bring up the gain for everybody. Okay. And lower the lift. Actually, we can even try to lower the lift a little bit more on the green and the blue. Here we go. Okay. On this one, I did both corrections on the same node. It's no big deal. Okay. But we can see that we have more corrections because I did white balance and then I normalized. Normally, don't forget to click on the next node like this. You will do the next correction on it. Next one, we can do contrast. Bring up the contrast. And we can, is and we can also do the S curve like we've done before. Okay. Now we see here we have a little problem on the top because the water is a little bit greenish and it's not so nice. So on the next node we can correct this. What we do is we can go here on Color Warper. I made a video already about it. If you're interested, I will put it in the description. I put more points and then I see, and then you see I have a picker here. So I'm going to pick this place and actually bring it a little bit more to the blue. So you can see here, I'm just correcting this area and I'm making it more even with the rest of the blue. Here we go. Now what we can do is we can try to lighten a little bit the face of the parrotfish. Like this, it will attract the attention better. So we go here, pick this one, and this one we're going to make it smaller. We can turn here, still a little bit smaller, okay, bring it down, make it smaller, a little bit on top, here we go, okay, and this one we can brighten it a little, okay, and then we can do a little vignette on the outside, like we've done before, soften it a little bit, Don't forget to invert it. Make it a little bit darker. And then we have before and after. So you see it's kind of subtle, but we darken the outside and we brighten the face of the bump head. So now we can see before, completely uh, before at the beginning of the correction, and now what we have. Maybe we can add on the next node a little saturation. And maybe we can higher the contrast a little bit more. Here we go. Before, after. Much better. 
maybe a little bit less contrast. Great. Next one, we have a diver. So we can do white balance first. Try here. Pick a gray part here. Okay, now we have Donald Trump. It's a little bit difficult. I don't think it's going to work. Control Z to go back. So we're going to try to work it on the tint. Make it a little bit warmer. Here, a little bit more magenta. Okay, it's much better already. And we see here we don't have enough red and we probably have too much green so we can work it on the offset. Bring up the red and bring down the green before and after. Much better. Okay, next one, normalize. We need more highlights. So again, bring up. Okay dark just a little bit maybe try to bring down the green and the blue only because the red is already very dark and maybe bring up actually here the red now it's a little bit too much so now we have too much green so we need to take out some okay we can go back a little bit here to remove some green Okay, much better. Before, after, better. Okay, on the next one, now we're going to have to try to change the color of the water because now the water is becoming a little bit red because of the adding of the red. So, we're going to color warper like we did before. We put more points. Pick this area and then we go on the blue. Okay. And it's correcting only the water. We have a little problem here on the arm, so we can try to correct the arm here. Here we go. You see, we get the arm that was green. A little bit more natural. Next one, a little contrast. Okay. Next one, a little saturation. Okay. And the final one, a little vignette, just to get our subject to pop up better. Always make sure that it's very soft when you do this, otherwise it won't look very nice or very natural. Don't forget to invert it. And now we can bring it down on the outside and make it a little bit darker. Before and after. It's too much. Okay, this is more subtle. So the image before, very flat, and now much, much better. Okay. Final one, online. So this time we can try. So first we do our nodes. So this one, first we're going to try to do an automatic white balance. Because on land it works quite nice. And you can see it gets... You see, get our colors to go up and be nicer. So the white balance seems to be okay. So now we can work on normalizing, but we don't have much to do actually. So we're just going to do contrast a little with the curve. Oh, that's way too much. Control Z. So actually it was enough for here, the contrast. Next one, we can do a little saturation. Bring up the saturation and you can see the water is much, much nicer than it was. Can do a little vignette again. Here, here. Soft. 
invert and we can go down a little okay so the vignette seems to be okay because we want this part to pop up with the nice green actually we can add a little bit more saturation yes and here we can see that we probably don't have enough mid-tones so on the next one i'm just going to add some mid-tones with the gamma and it's making the picture a little bit brighter so before and after Okay, now to export, it's quite easy. We open the gallery here. So what we can do is just click right here, grab a steel, and then right click here, export, and then you can pick where you want to export it and what file type you want. So JPEG, for example, and you can export. Another option is to go here on the deliver, and then here you can see it's individual clips instead of single clip. That's the reason why we had one frame per picture. So it's going to export many pictures one at a time. Format TIFF, OK. Add to render queue. And then render. OK. If you like the video, don't hesitate to like. You can also subscribe and hit the bell. And also, I put here a video for you if you want to do color correction on your videos. Bye-bye, happy bubbles!